Today we're looking at farming Rousing Earth and Awaken Earth. These are the elemental crafting regions for Dragonflight and work just like moats and primals from the Burning Crusade. These two are basically the same thing at any time you can turn 10 Rousing Earth into Awakened Earth or turn an Awakened Earth into 10 Rousing Earth. Both the Rousing and Awakened Earth are used in a huge number of recipes for the new overhaul crafting system in Dragonflight, so these are going to be in demand. Now both the Rousing and Awakened versions are used quite widely in crafting, so this means that if you are farming these to sell, you probably want to be selling both of them on the auction house to increase your sales and the amount of gold you make. Now you can use professions to get Rousing and Awakened Earth, but in this video I'm assuming you don't have any of that and you just want a way to get these without any hassle, so today we're looking at farming mobs that can drop them directly. As far as drops go, you can only get Rousing Earth drop and you can convert these to Awakened Earth as and when you want to. As you saw on the map at the start of the video, this farm is located in Flash Frost Assault, which is west of the Ruby Life Pools in the Waking Shores. The area is overrun with Earth Elemental type mobs and these are basically what we are killing to get the Rousing Earth. Basically I found the best way to farm here was to concentrate on the small elementals that have much lower life poles that die quickly and seem to have a reasonable chance of dropping Rousing Earth. The mobs around here do not seem to hit very hard at all, as long as you dodge any ground effects that are going on you should be pretty safe even against the really big elementals. This made it fairly easy to pull multiple mobs, AoE them down and just generally keep the kill rate higher if that is what you want to do. Some of the mobs are a bit spread out, so even if you are AOEing them down, you may have to kill the odd one single target, but generally speaking, you can pull them in packs, especially if you have this area to yourself, and you can make the mobs spawn how you want them to. You will probably find you kill the smaller elementals faster than they can spawn, so you will have to kill some of the big guys. They have a huge life pull, but you do not need to burn all the way through this. At 50% life, they split into two smaller elementals that die quickly, and you can loot both of those. Now, as you head to the west side of the farm, there are some humanoid lizard type casters. Ideally, do not pull these if you can help it. They do not drop any rousing earth, but this is not such a huge issue as they are pretty easy to avoid. Now, I do have another earth elemental farming location, which I think is slightly better than this one. So once I have that video finished and released, I will link that as a pop-up. It will probably be on your screen now. So I think that one is worth checking out as well. Thanks for watching, guys.